Wouldn't it be cool if you could actually create a brand new folder on your Mac and change the color of the folder? Just maybe to color coordinate files and stuff? Let me show you how to do it. All right, welcome back to my channel. So as you know, I do a lot of reviews, especially Apple reviews and technology and everything else. I do some learning ones as well, and that's what this is all about. So you have a Mac, let's say it's an M1 Mac, let's say it's something like I have behind me, a 2017 iMac, whatever you have. You create a folder, you know, you can create a folder, you put all your files in that folder. The color, what is it? It's always blue, right? What I'm gonna do is show you today is an easy way to change those colors of the folders. And you can see them, I'll do a close up. Let's say you want a pink, a green, or a blue folder. Maybe, maybe you want all your images to go in the pink folders, you want you know, all your other files to go in the blue, and you want something else like tax documents to go in the green. You can easily color coordinate your files by having different color folders. Now there's a way to do this where you can actually grab an image and overwrite the image. The problem with that is sometimes when you go out to the internet trying to find the right dimensions of the image and stuff, some people complain like sometimes those images could have viruses on them, you don't know where they're coming from and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is show you today is I'm gonna show you a way to change the actual color of those folders the real folders, the ones you've actually created with Mac OS without downloading an image from anywhere else. There's a way you can actually get in and actually change the saturation, the tint, the hue of those folders, and then just save it and it's done. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's gonna be a shorter video. Um, it's something that, like I said, once you get to, you know, I don't know why this wasn't built in a lot easier and who knows, but there's an easy way to do it. It should take probably about two minutes or so of learning and then you guys will never forget it for the rest of your lives and you can color coordinate, coordinate all of your folders as you want to so let's get into the video I'm going to share my screen here let me know what you think in the comments let's go all right so let me show you how to do this the first thing you want to do is go ahead on your desktop and just right click and click new folder make sure your right click is enabled you can create a folder any way you want there but just create a new folder but then you have to right click again on the folder and this time go down to get info see it right there get info and click on that that's going to open up a window i'll move it over here to the middle you can see in this window in the upper left hand corner there's like this little folder that's the blue one up there it's kind of matching this one click on that and if you click on it you'll see that there's an outline around it now it's kind of outlined in purple that means you've you've actually clicked on it once you do that go up here and go to edit and then copy. So under the finder, edit copy. We've just copied that folder. All right, the next thing you wanna do is open up Spotlight. So you wanna click Command, Space, Command, Space. It's gonna open this up. I already had it open, but yours should look like this. So you wanna just type in Preview now and open up Preview. So that's basically what we're trying to do. So once you open it up, you'll see Preview up here in the upper left-hand corner. And once it's up here, what you can do then is, you know, you've actually got it open. So you wanna go up to File, and then you want to go to New from Clipboard. All right, so once you get this in here, what you want to do is you want to open this up a little bit so it's a little bit larger like this, just because then I can see all the options. And then over here, you want to click on this little icon. See it here? It's basically going to be this little circle with a little marker on it. And this is going to be, you know, it's called the markup tool. And this opens up all these different options down here. Now, in older versions of Mac OS, you want to go ahead and click on this little prism. It's like a triangle with like some lines going through it. And uh, on the new Big Sur, it's a little bit different, which I'll show you. All right, so since I'm not on Big Sur right now, I just took a screen print, but if, if you open up Preview, the only difference is if you see this menu bar, it's the same as the other one basically, but see this little icon here that's got the little lines with little sliders on it? That replaced that little triangle I showed you before. So you either have to click on that triangle with an older version of macOS, or on newer versions, you're gonna see this little slider. All right, so once you click on this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get this little bar over here, see it? And what you want to do is you want to go down to where it says saturation, temperature, and tint. And you can kind of fool around with all these things down here and create the color of the folder that you want. So obviously I'm creating a purple folder. You know, it depends where you slide them and what the color is going to be. But let's just make it purple this time. When you're done with it, you can go ahead and just click the X. And now you have this purple folder here. So now what we want to do is you want to click inside of here somewhere, just in this white area. And then go back up here under you know basically under preview and you want to go ahead and go to edit and then select all all right if you did it correctly you're going to see that there's a box all the way around this just like that see that box all right so all we want to do now is we want to hit on the keyboard command c to copy so command c so we've copied this and then we want to go right back up to this folder remember this little folder up here we want to click on it again just make sure it's highlighted up there and then click command v 
Command V is in Victor. When you wait a couple seconds and look at it, it changed the color of it up there. Now it's changed down here. So if I shut this down and shut this down, I'm not even gonna have to save this, I could just delete it. But you'll notice that now my folder out here is now purple. So you actually change that color to purple. So that's how you actually do this. It's a, it's a kind of a weird process, but hopefully that does help people out. All right, what do you think? So at the end of the day, like I always say, um, it's another tip. So is it something that's going to save your life? No. But if you open up a couple windows and you can see color, color coordination in them and it helps you get to the files quicker or just helps overall with the experience, you know, it's another tip you can put into your bag. So I just don't know why Apple didn't create, you know, I don't know why they don't do these little things like just so you can do them simply without having to go through these steps I showed you. It doesn't take that long and it should only take a couple seconds to master how to do it and hopefully you'll remember it. But it's one of those things if you don't do it all the time, you do forget eventually. So anyways, with a grain of salt, let me know how you think about these videos. Do you guys like these? Do you not? Um, I just want to go ahead and try to teach people like some of the little things built into Mac OS a lot of people may never even know about. This is one of them. It's good to have colors, right? You don't want to always have those blue, ugly folders all the time, so it's good to change. Even if you like a different blue, you can go ahead and do that. So at the end of the day, I hope it helped, and uh, support my channel if you can. I make a bunch of videos, as you know. I have over 300 now, mostly devoted to Apple. If you can subscribe and help me grow the channel. When I do reviews, if you actually can use my link to buy something, I make a teeny bit of money to help support the channel. Not enough to even buy the stuff, but it does help out. So. Talk to you soon, and you guys know my sign-off. Like I say, um, some famous YouTuber stole it from me, but talk to you soon. Peace.